Hey guys, Ponce here, not on the PBE, but in PoE. So a PoE stands for Path of Exile, those of you guys not aware of what that is. Um, it's a free-to-play action RPG, what I often refer to as the Diablo 2, or Diablo 3 that should have been. Um, really kind of my style of game, very, very kind of complicated, in-depth. And uh, they just released a massive new patch, They're, it's called like Path of Exile 2.0, I believe, The Awakening or something like that. Uh, it was a three gigabyte download. It kind of rebalances everything. Reintroduce or introduces a whole new act to the game. Those of you guys familiar with uh, how um, action RPGs work, they tend to get broken into acts. Um, so, a lot of new content, um, a lot of new skills, items, so much new stuff that like I'm kind of going in blind to this. Um, typically, when I build stuff, I have a really really good idea what's going on. Now there's a lot of kind of unknowns for me. So uh, I, I thought I'd experiment with one of the new skills called Ice Crash. So let me show you, gotta show you guys what that looks like just quickly. Smash the ground, and then it kind of pulses out into an AoE. So it's uh, vaguely similar to Ground Slam, I believe, uh, for those of you guys familiar with the game. Um, so just to kind of get in the slight details of the build, uh, I thought I'd show you guys here. Uh, Ice Crash probably modified with uh, support gems. Uh, the uh, weapon elemental damage, melee physical damage, conk effect, hypothermia, and then for a six slot if I get one, you know, maybe cold, pen, or faster attack, something like that. There, there's several options to go with, but the first four here are probably going to be the core. Um, and then the curse, you know, frostbite, that's kind of a no-brainer since I deal ice damage, uh, herald of ice, uh, clarity, hatred with reduced mana, you know, stuff like that. Auras I don't worry too much about, you know, I, I can kind of deal with that later. Uh, maybe I want a defensive one, maybe I want an offensive one. I um, can always switch those out. So just to kind of give you a mouse over what this ability does here, this is it. it. Uh, you deal a lot more base damage, but you attack slower, converts to ice damage, and then, um, as you can see, it pulses out like that. And then uh, the further out this pulse goes, the less damage it deals, but uh, you know it's still dealing AOE damage. Uh, of course, I have Herald of Ice, as I mentioned. So uh, you know if I freeze things, they'll explode, and, and it just deals extra ice damage in general. Now, I'm taking Resolute Technique, so uh, it means I can't crit, but I'm going to be able to cr uh, freeze things through alternate means, like Hypothermia, and I'll show you guys my talent tree in a second. There. So, of course, uh, Frostbite gives an innate chance to um, uh, just kind of freeze enemies, and uh, let's just show you the talent tree here. This is the um, roughly my endgame talent tree. Uh, now, this is kind of rough. It's not, like, super precise. Uh... So, you know, there's probably slightly more efficient things you can do here or there. But roughly, this is what I'm going for. Um, the talent tree has been redone, largely, so I'm unfamiliar with certain portions of it. But from what I can tell, the, the Templar area is, you know, it's similar-ish. So I kind of went off that, getting, you know, my typical, as many health nodes as possible and a whole bunch of elemental stuff. Importantly, again, I had resolute technique, so I can't miss, but I can't crit either, which allows me to completely ignore um, my two-hit chance, and I can kind of very specialize what I get. Uh, other, other important uh, points to get are um, Celestial Punishment, 5% chance to freeze, etc., etc. Mainly the freeze is what I want. And uh, Elementalist, 5% chance to freeze yet again. So, again, I don't need the ability to crit to freeze, because to freeze people, you need to crit. Um... So with that, we're working at 10% right there, and then there's like, what is it, uh, Frostbite is like 10 to 15%, something like that. And then on top of that, I have Hypothermia, so if I chill something, then uh, they have an additional 10%. So I'm working with quite a bit, um, like in excess of 30% chance to freeze something on every single hit. So roughly one in three hits is going to freeze someone, and when they die, when they freeze, they explode because of Herald of Ice. Uh, so yeah, I'm just... We'll show it off a few more times and just call it a day there, I suppose. Now, you know, t there's probably a whole bunch of uniques and stuff and jewels that could make this even more efficient, but I don't know what the new uniques are, and I don't... Well, I kind of know what the the, gen uh, the whole new jewel system is. Um, just, I guess we may as well quickly kind of look at that. But, uh, yeah, they introduced this new jewel system where you can socket jewels into the uh, into your talent tree. For example, I have this one here. I get the extra mana regen and elemental damage. Stuff like that. Um, again, I don't, I don't, even if I did know what the uniques are, I don't tend to like to plan around them. I mostly do a self-find kind of thing. I don't like trading. I will trade sometimes, but, you know, I just don't like bothering with that too often. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to just kind of seeing how this goes. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing Act 4. I'm not actually in Act 4 yet since I just started playing this very recently. Patch was just happened yesterday or something like that, maybe two days ago. 
Um, so I'll probably have a video up of what Act 4 looks like and what the whole deal is there once I have a, you know, a good idea of what's going on. So yeah, this is the, uh, I guess I may as well name this, you know, it'll be the, uh, the Ice Crash, Herald of Ice Crash build, something like that. It's not the most mind-bendingly complicated, crazy, convoluted, you know, weird build, but I think it's got some pretty good synergy, it looks solid. And uh, you'll see how it goes. Hopefully it works. It ends up uh, working out late game. If I make it a late game without dying, because of course I've been playing in the, uh, the new Tempest Hardcore mode, or whatever it's called. The new Hardcore mode. Um, so if I die once, that's that's the end. That's GG. That's it. So um, I'll try not to die and make it to end game and uh, let you guys know how things are going. Hope you enjoyed this little Path of Exile video. Don't do these very often, but I really enjoy the game. So um, I like being able to make these when possible. So uh, yeah, see you guys around. Goodbye.